Tony, thank you. Progress on COVID-19 relief help in Madison today as Governor Tony Evers is getting ready to make his state of the state pitch tonight. Charles Benson just back from Madison in the newsroom with all the details on a busy day, Charles. Well, Governor Evers says he has found common ground with Republicans in the Senate on a COVID-19 relief bill that created $100 million. Now it still needs to be approved in the assembly. Tonight, Governor Evers will call for a moment of silence during his virtual state of the state speech for the more than 5,000 Wisconsinites who have died from the coronavirus. Quote, I'd like to dedicate this address to those who've lost this year, their families, their sons and daughters, moms and dads, grandparents and grandkids, friends and neighbors left behind who on top of everything else this past year have had to mourn the loss of someone they love. Republican State Senator Alberta Darling praising the bill and urging the assembly to pass it. Quote, our bill protects patients from unexpected medical bills and businesses from frivolous lawsuits. It also helps families pay their bills by forcing the Department of Workforce Development to fully fix the unemployment insurance backlog. And we've done a number of stories on that problem. Again, we are waiting to see if assembly Republicans will vote to approve the Senate version of the COVID-19 relief bill, but at least one state representative already issuing a statement. statement. Republican Mark Bourne is saying the Senate version failed to include important measures passed in the assembly version. Steve, Carol.